Our focus is on the investigation and getting this right uh, the first time. Uh, and we're doing that with our partners. And we do appreciate you putting out information from time to time. Uh, moving forward, we would appreciate it if you got that information from us uh, so that we knew that it was accurate. Uh, and that is incredibly important for all of us from an investigative standpoint and from a public safety standpoint, that, that we have a unified front uh, with this information as we release it. Uh, the delay in coming here with you now is simply because we want to confirm information from our end. We want to make sure the information we're giving you and the information that goes out to the general public is accurate. So we do have some information here that we will release. It is here on the podium. Uh, and this is a general caution to the public uh, that approximately 6.56 this evening, uh, a couple of shooting incidents occurred here with multiple casualties in the city of Lewiston. And police are currently searching for a Robert R. Card, 4-4 of 1983 of Bowdoin. Card is considered armed and dangerous. He is a person of interest, however, and that's what we'll uh, label him at uh, moving forward until that changes. If people see him, they should not approach Card or make contact with him in any way. Uh, the shelter in place order that currently stands in Lewiston remains. Uh, a vehicle, which was a vehicle of interest in this incident, was located in Lisbon, and we are now also asking residents in Lisbon to shelter in place. So please share that information uh, with communities as well. If anybody uh, sees Mr. Card or has any additional information referenced to these two shootings in the city of Lewiston, please contact 911. If they see anything suspicious, please feel free to call their local authorities. Uh, we have uh, literally hundreds of police officers working around the state of Maine uh, to investigate this case, to locate Mr. Card, who again is a person of interest and a person of interest only. And we'll continue to gather information so that we can bring uh, the suspect to justice and ultimately uh, seek prosecution uh, down the road. This uh, release also includes a photo, which I believe I have seen uh, from various uh, sources. Uh, I would also let you know that we have created a reunification location, and that would be at the Auburn Middle School, so in the neighboring community of Auburn at 38 Falcon Drive. Again, that's the Auburn Middle School. And when I say reunification uh, center or location, what that means is that if somebody has a question or they have a concern, they can't find a loved one, they believe that uh, a friend or a family member may be involved in what occurred here tonight uh, in Lewiston, that they could respond to that location. Uh, we will have some of our behavioral health liaisons, counselors on, on, on site, uh, and we'll also be providing information as uh, it becomes available to us. As you can imagine, and as you know, uh, there are multiple scenes in the city to include multiple hospitals, uh, multiple follow-ups, a lot of witnesses we're speaking with, and a lot of leads. Uh, the general public has been very cooperative uh, and very forthcoming with information. So I would expect, uh, if we have additional information, we'll be happy to come back uh, and share it with you. Uh, I know that uh, from the city of Lewiston standpoint, probably going to close City Hall after this briefing and probably move everybody out. Uh, but again, we appreciate your partnership and your patience. Um, I would offer to take questions uh, just so you know that I probably won't have answers. Uh, and as long as you know that going in, uh, there's no disrespect intended in that. Um, feel free to ask a couple. And if I think we can get there, uh, then I'm happy to answer those. If not, uh, we do have work to do on behalf of our communities. And that's our primary focus uh, this evening. There are many specific out there. The sheriff, Sheriff Sampson, told me up as many as 20. Uh, I just want to give you those opportunities to set the record straight on that. Uh, yeah, right now. I do appreciate that. And I know that there's been a lot of numbers out there. Uh, this is a very fluid situation. So the last thing I want to come up is give you a number and then three hours from now change that one direction or another. <clears throat> so I don't have firm numbers on that. Uh, and when I do, we'll be happy to share those. Uh, with you because it's an important piece of healing and it's an important piece of information for all of us to be aware of. Um, but I don't have a firm number on that. But at least 16, right? I think I just answered that question to say that I'm not going to give you any specific numbers. Um, and there's been a lot of numbers all over the map uh, all evening. And I don't think that that's helpful um, because it doesn't help family members. It certainly doesn't help the community to see, well, they just said this and they said that. Um, so if you want accurate information, I'm prepared to give that to you when I have it. Uh, I don't have that right now. Does the suspect have any known criminal history, law enforcement? Is he, is he 
someone who's been on the radar of, of state police or local police, to your knowledge? Well, Mr. Card, who we're speaking about right now, is a person of interest and a person of interest only, right? I'm not listing him as a suspect at this point, um, and we're not prepared to go into his background or anything else that we may be aware of. One more question. You're looking for one shooter, correct? We're looking for this person of interest right now, and, uh, and that's what we'll label uh, and list and speak about uh, at this particular moment. When we have additional information, I'm happy to share that. No, so thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, again, thank you for your time. And I know uh, Assistant City Manager uh, O'Malley will make uh, arrangements, I think, to move everybody out of the building. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. These, uh, these are our the flyers that we were mentioning. You've been listening live to Mike Shashuk. He's the commissioner of the Maine Department of Public Safety. He wanted to give the public an, a brief update on the very fluid situation that he described, a mass casualty event in Lewiston, Maine, happening tonight and still underway. Uh, citizens there are asked to shelter in place in two different locations, urging the public remain very vigilant. Uh, we know that there has been a suspected shooting. Two locations are... Uh, mentioned a bowling alley in Lewiston, as well as a bar and grill. They also released a photo of a person of interest and identified that person uh, in the photo. And I want to bring in Aaron Katursky, who has details uh, as senior investigative reporter here. Aaron, I know you've been digging into the background of this person of interest. His name is Robert Card. He's 40 years old, and police are calling him a person of interest, and they say there is still a potential danger to the public. And so while they look for him, they've asked people in the area of Lewiston and some neighboring communities to stay in their homes, to not come outside. And if they do see this person, to simply call police and not approach because he is considered armed and dangerous. And you're learning more about his background as well from law enforcement authorities. Law enforcement sources tell ABC News that Robert Card has a military history. He is a firearms instructor. And he also spent two weeks in a mental health facility over the summer after we're told he reported hearing voices and made threats to shoot up a National Guard facility in Saco, Maine. So they are looking at a person of interest who has both military history and mental health history. Absolutely. Now, authorities in Lewiston have released photos, surveillance photos, of this person of interest um, armed with a high-powered tactical weapon, an assault-style weapon. Uh, we understand that, you know, we talked to eyewitnesses inside the bowling alley and a woman riley dumont described hearing gunshots uh, as a youth bowling league was underway i want to bring in now uh, pierre thomas uh, our chief justice correspondent in washington pierre i know that the president has been briefed the attorney general has been briefed what are you hearing again um one of the key things to, to point out here is uh the Commissioner just said that hundreds of law enforcement people are involved. Uh, that includes uh, now the FBI. Uh, I'm told that U.S. Marshals, every available federal service that can give support will offer it, um, make it available. Uh, this is the worst case scenario, um, mass shooting, heavily armed shooter, still at large, uh, possible mental health issues. Um, this is, you know, all hands on deck situation, I'm being told. Uh, the fact that the Attorney General, President, were briefed as quickly tells you the scale of the carnage. And um, suffice it to say, law enforcement is on edge and wants to get this resolved as quickly as possible. And ABC News is reporting there are at least 20 people believed dead, uh, dozens more perhaps injured at multiple hospital locations across Lewiston, Maine. This is the home of Bates College, about some 35 miles north of Portland, Maine. Again, this person is still not in custody, this person of interest, um, described by authorities as armed and dangerous. Um, and, and citizens are urged to shelter in place both in Lewiston and at a location where his car was found. They are being urged, Juju, to, to shelter in place because this person of interest is considered armed and dangerous and because he is not in custody, perhaps also knowing some of his history with the military and the fact that he's a firearms instructor, so well familiar with, uh, with handling firearms. They were able to track down 
a car that's associated with the suspect, the white Subaru you're seeing on your screen now. That was found in Lisbon, Maine, which is several miles from Lewiston. Uh, and they, the authorities are now urging people in Lisbon, Maine, where that vehicle was found, to also shelter in place while this manhunt continues. And I want to bring in now our former FBI special agent and ABC News contributor, Brad Garrett. Now, Brad, we're being told that there is a reunification center at a middle school. There's clearly a lot of, of uh, dynamic and fluid situation here. What can we expect in the coming hours as this manhunt continues? So we, I, we don't know, obviously, if Lisbon is relevant as to where this suspect might be. However, he drove there for some reason. So I would suggest that people that go on the run typically go to locations where they have been before. Uh, that's not always the case, but it tends to be familiarity tends to drive really most of us in a particular direction. And so is he on foot? Did he leave the weapon behind? Obviously, I don't know the answers to those. The, the, those become uh, completely relevant. Um, does he have a cabin or a location or a lake that he goes to in the past? These are all questions I'd be asking the family to see if they could track him because there was reporting earlier that the family got involved in some form or fashion. That, that makes sense to me. Saw his picture, called, called him in, uh, and they started looking for him. So all of those things can take you in a potential direction where he might be. And obviously, this is a guy you really have to get in custody as quickly as you can because what he's done so far, would he continue to do that? We just don't know the answer, but the potential is obviously there. And Brad, when you look at that surveillance video of this person of interest um, carrying what looks like a high-powered assault-style weapon, what comes to mind in the, in the fact that there are two locations, several miles apart, a bowling alley with lots of people, we were told, um, a, a youth bowling league underway, and then a second location, a bar and grill with, again, a, a more sort of civilians in that lo second location? They may re represent something to this shooter. You know, going back to what Aaron said, that he was in a mental health facility, obviously th this lad has some real issues. And so if that's true, is he driven by some something in his head that's telling him to go to certain locations? Or maybe more importantly, what do they represent in his reality? In other words, this bowling alley and this particular bar slash restaurant uh, it may not make any logical sense to the rest of us, but it may. It, it's just really hard to say, but they do mean something to him or he wouldn't have gone to them. Now, police are urging extreme caution. Brad Garrett, thank you so much. And Aaron, one, one last moment with you. Clearly, he's described as armed and dangerous. He is not yet in custody. This is a very dynamic situation. Um, knowing what you've now learned about his background, where do you think this investigation heads? It's very worrying, Juju, because he has now been at large for almost five hours. The first shots rang out in Lewiston, Maine, just before 7 p.m. Eastern time, and the authorities still have not been able to place this person of interest into custody. He's not being called a suspect, but they are considering him armed and dangerous, Robert Card. And with his military history as a firearms instructor, his familiarity with guns, uh, and he's from the area, he's from Bowdoin, Maine, uh, there's no telling necessarily where he could be. We know they tracked his car not far from Lewiston in Lisbon, Maine, several miles away. People are being told to shelter in place throughout the area and will be told to shelter in place. School is already canceled for tomorrow as a precaution because they just don't want anyone to come into contact with him. Aaron Katursky, thank you. Pierre Thomas, thank you from D.C. Again, a mass casualty event still underway, a mass shooting at two different locations in Lewiston, Maine. We will, of course, continue to follow this developing story here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.